Hi guys, Yuki here. Sorry it's been a while since I've actually uh, posted a new video. It's just this week I was kind of busy with uh, finals, but now that they're over with, I can just get right back into this game. Alright. One night, a good couple of years after the boys and I had met, I had a moment to myself, so I sat in my room and took in all that had happened as if it was all a dream. The demons, the devils, the magic, it was all surreal to believe. It almost frightened me to think that it could have been all a dream. But when the warm feeling in my heart reminded me that it was all real. The demons, the magic, the love I had, all real. <clears throat> I smiled as I held my hands to my chest, relishing the feelings dancing within my soul. <laughs> Are you okay? Yes. I looked up from my lap to see James standing in the doorway, crossed arms with a playfully raised eyebrow. I smiled and blushed a bit. Yeah, I w I'm okay. I was just remembering how we met and such. Were you now? Yeah, and I wouldn't change anything. James smiled and walked over to me, gently taking my hands and kissing over the knuckles sweetly. Come, I have a surprise for you. Oh? Alexis, there. <clears throat> I raised an eyebrow. A surprise? What the heck was he plotting? James smiled, chuckled, simply chuckled and chuckled, chuckled and kissed my forehead. I promise you'll love it. Deciding to go along with it, I nodded and stood up. James gently took my arm under his hand, under his and led me out of the bedroom. I stared in shock at the path of golden roses, rose petals lining the floor. That must be expensive. Golden roses, I don't think I've ever heard of them. <clears throat> Creating a pathway from my door, James led me to the golden rose path as if that was all part of his plan. James, what is going on? James didn't answer. James continued to lead me to the down the stairs of the lobby where the, ma the path winded, winded into the dining room. I stared in shock as I saw a table set with candles and a large bouquet of golden roses decorated in the middle. James, I feel sort of underdressed, you know? There's nothing wrong with how you look now. You're beautiful no matter what clothes you are in. I couldn't help but let a red blush paint my face. Making James chuckle once again, he led me to my seat where I was greeted with a plate of shrimp pesto on the table. James! Remember what that is? Of course. That, sir, is a shrimp pesto dish. James laughed and smiled. I smiled back up at him, feeling nostalgia run over my heart. Giddy happiness bubbled as I looked up to the man I had loved. He made it when we first met, when you and your brothers were apologizing for getting blood in the lobby. <laughs> Well, it was more than that we had to apologize for, but that was the gist of it, yes. How could I forget? What's this all about? James gently bent forward and kissed my forehead sweetly, making me giggle slightly. You are such a wonderful woman. I can't believe that I can love someone this much. You have changed my whole world, and now you have become my everything. I practically get scared waking up every morning in case this is all just a blissful dream. I could speak further, James gently placed his fingers on my lips, hushing them, before he caressed my cheek. I nestled into his hand, almost purring with the feel of the warmth against my cheek. I love you, and I will never stop loving you. No matter what comes our way, I promise to be there for you as long as time keeps moving. I want to be yours forever. Before I realized the situation, James slowly got down on one knee beside me and took out a small black bo box. He lifted the top to reveal a beautiful ring with a purple gem crowned with gold and purple embellishments. I stared, my mind instantly freezing in surprise at the sight. I felt my eyes water at the immense feeling bursting inside my chest. Will you, Miss Anderson, marry me? I was speechless. I felt myself break and start to weep in toy. Was this happening? This had to be a dream. I mentally begged every single deity in the sky to never wake me up from if that was the case. I fought my tears, trying to speak to answer his question. I didn't want to leave him in the dark, and I didn't want him to be on the ground for long. Yes, yes, I will! I stood up crying and jumping in joy as James smiled the biggest smile I had ever seen on his face and slid the ring on my ring finger. As it finally ended it, its upward journey to the crevice of my finger, James stood up and took me into his arms, kissing me and sealing my words. 
I had gained the heart of a demon, no, of a man I loved. I vowed to cherish him and love him for the remainder of my days and beyond. Could a demon love a human forever? I knew James would. And that was my happily ever after. End. James's proposal. T. Alright. Yay, we're getting married. Um, I guess that concludes James's route. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!